Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will design a Turing machine for accepting all the strings having equal number of A's and B's. First, we will see what is the approach for designing this Turing machine. In this example, the number of A's are 4 and number of B's are also 4. The idea is very simple. If we delete the pairs of AB iteratively, then at the end, all the A's and B's will be depleted together or we can say vanish together and we will not find any A or B which is left to be deleted at the end. Now reading from the left, the Turing machine will delete the first A and replace with it with X. Now to delete in pairs, Turing machine will search for B. This symbol B will be deleted and replaced with X because one pair of AB is deleted so first iteration is completed and the Turing machine will again start the next iteration from the leftmost symbol of the string. Now Turing machine will skip this X and delete this A, replace it with X. Now Turing machine has deleted A so Turing machine will search for B, delete this B and replace it with X. Second iteration is also completed as we have deleted one more pair of AB. Turing machine will again start the next iteration from the leftmost symbol of the string. Skipping all the X, it will search for next A or B. Turing machine will delete this B, replace it with X and to delete in pair, Turing machine will search for A and delete it. So Turing machine will keep on doing this and in the similar fashion it will delete the next pair of AB. Now at the end if all the pairs of AB are deleted and all the symbols are converted to X and there are no extra A's or B's left to be deleted then the Turing machine will accept this string. Now let us take one more example to see how many states we require to design this Turing machine. In this string, we have three A's and three B's. At state Q0, machine is reading first symbol that is A. Q0 will replace this A with X, takes a right move and changes its state to Q1. Now at state Q1, Turing machine knows something and it does something. At state Q1, Turing machine knows that the symbol A has already been replaced with X and now Turing machine has to search for symbol B and replace it with X. So Q1 on reading A will skip this A and takes a right move. On reading symbol B, Q1 will replace it with X, takes a left move and changes its state to Q3. The responsibility of state Q3 is to reach to the starting symbol of this string. So Q3 skips skip this A and also skip this X, moves towards the left. On reading blank symbol, Q3 will become aware that it has moved one step extra. So it takes a right move and changes its state to Q0. We have reached the state from where we started, that is Q0. So one iteration is completed and in the first iteration we have successfully deleted one pair of AB. Now notice one important point here. From second iteration onwards Q0 may find some X in the starting but Q0 on reading X will move towards the right skipping all these X and search for either A or B. Now next symbol Q0 treats is symbol A. As we have done in the first iteration, same we will do here. On reading A, Q0 will replace this symbol with X, move towards the right and changes its state to Q1. Now Turing machine changes its state to Q1 just to remember that machine has already replaced one A with X in the current iteration. And next it should search for symbol B. Also notice an important point 
दैट फ्रॉम सेकेंड आइट्रेशन ऑनवर्ड्स क्यू वन में एनकाउंटर सम एक्स अलॉन्ग विद एज विच इट शुड स्किप एंड सर्च फॉर सिंबल बी सो क्यू वन ऑन रीडिंग एक्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द राइट विदाउट चेंजिंग द सिंबल एक्स एंड विदाउट चेंजिंग द स्टेट क्यू वन ऑन रीडिंग सिंबल बी क्यू वन विल रिप्लेस इट विद एक्स टेक्स अ लेफ्ट मूव एंड चेंजेस इट स्टेट टू क्यू थ्री द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ स्टेट क्यू थ्री इज टू रीच टू द स्टार्टिंग सिंबल ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग सो क्यू थ्री स्किप्स ऑल एक्स एज एंड बीज मूव टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट ऑन रीडिंग द ब्लैंक सिंबल क्यू थ्री विल बिकम अवेयर दैट इट हैज मूव वन स्टेप एक्स्ट्रा सो इट टेक्स अ राइट मूव एंड चेंजेस इट स्टेट टू क्यू नॉट सो सेकेंड आइट्रेशन इज ऑल्सो कंप्लीटेड एंड इन द सेकेंड आइट्रेशन वी हैव सक्सेसफुली डिलेटेड वन मोर पेयर ऑफ ए बी नॉ इन द नेक्स्ट आइट्रेशन क्यू नॉट विल स्किप ऑल दीज एक्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द राइट एंड ऑन रीडिंग सिंबल बी रिप्लेस इट विद एक्स टेक्स अ राइट मूव एंड मशीन विल चेंज इट स्टेट फ्रॉम क्यू नॉट टू क्यू टू नॉ दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट in in any iteration if q not reads the symbol a as first symbol then state is changed to q1 and in any iteration if q not reads the symbol b first then state is changed to q2 remember this point now the responsibility of state q2 is to search for a while skipping b's and x now q2 on reading a will replace it with x takes a left move and changes its state to q3 the responsibility of q3 is to reach to the starting symbol of this string so q3 skips all the x a's and b's and moves towards the left on reading blank symbol q3 will become aware that it has moved one step extra so it takes a right move and changes its state to q0 Now in the next iteration q0 will skip all these x move moves towards the right searching for either a or b but this time q0 will reach to the blank symbol which signifies that while iterating and replacing the pairs of ab with x all the symbols are converted to x which means the number of a's are equal to the number of b's because they are depleted together so the string a a b b b a should be accepted so q not on reading blank symbol will change its state to final state that is q4 and takes a left move actually it doesn't matter in which direction you move once you have changed the state to final state then the string will be accepted here i am using the standard turing machine which says that you you should always move in either to the left or to the right after reading any symbol that's why i have moved towards the left in this example okay now let us see the transition diagram for this turing machine to accept all the strings having equal number of a's and b's initially the state q0 is pointing to the symbol a on reading the symbol a it will replace it with x takes a right move and changes its state to q1 Now in the first iteration q1 will skip only a's and moves towards the right but from the second iteration onwards q1 will encounter both a's and x so q1 will skip both a's and x moves towards the right without changing the state and as soon as it encounters symbol b q1 will replace it with x takes a left move and changes its state to Q3. Now the responsibility of Q3 is to reach to the leftmost symbol. So Q3 will move towards the left, skipping all the A's, B's, and X in between. And as soon as Q3 reads the blank symbol, Q3 will become aware that it has came one step extra. So it takes a right move and changes its state to Q0. Now from the second iteration onwards. Q not may encounter some x symbols in the starting. So Q not will skip these x without replacing these x 
moves towards the right keeping the state same as q0 now let us assume this time q0 encounters the symbol b first then symbol b will be replaced with x during machine moves towards the right and changes its state to q2 q2 will skip both b's and x moves towards the right without changing the state and as soon as it encounters the symbol a q1 will replace it with x takes a left move and changes its state to q3 here you can clearly see that through these transitions we are replacing a pair of a b with symbol x and through these transitions we are replacing a pair of b a with x now if the string is having equal number of a's and b's then at the end all the symbols will be converted to x so at the end q0 while skipping all the x will encounter the blank symbol instead of a or b so q0 on reading the blank symbol will change its state to final state that is q4 and moves towards the left now let us see the seven tuples for this turing machine we have five states that is from q0 to q4 symbols a and b are in input alphabet sigma symbols a b blank symbol and symbol x are in tape symbols transition function we have already discussed through transition diagram note a point here that uh, we are having only left and right movement in this transition function because we are using standard turing machine here in this example q0 is the initial state capital b is the blank symbol and in the set of final states we have state q4 okay so that's all in this lecture if you like this video click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you